my fucking blood pressure. I gotta take a shot. This team, man. Eat this team is gonna kill me. Seriously. Either by winning an NBA championship or breaking my heart by me going on a crazy ass motherfucking rant. No basketball team on the planet Earth takes you for an emotional roller coaster like this Boston Celtics. I don't care if it's the regular season or if it's game one tonight. They are going to mess you up. And you saw that shit tonight. Pfft. Man, my blood pressure was wrong. I, I, you know what, man? At times, you saw the rant today. It was like a Jekyll and Hyde freaking live stream. By the way, man, a lot of people showed up on the live stream today. Let me get the numbers here on my phone. I'm going to show y'all. 580 people. Came in tonight. Real fucking shit. Real shit. This was like three hours of misery. And they pull out the wind. I mean, we saw it all tonight, man. They blew three separate du double-digit leads. And then, you know, you go on these crazy stops, right? And then, all of a sudden, you let the Indiana Pacers come back. And then, Jason Tatum not being in his, like, you know, the non-Tatum minutes... It, it was a disaster. And, I, and I'm like, you know what, man? This is going to be like the same shit that we saw last year. And I talked about it on the stream tonight. Where I went after the Boston Celtics after game three. Everybody remembers that was the rant. That was one of the rants of the year. And then you're down by five late in the fourth quarter. We're all like, oh man, Indiana just stole our home court, right? And then Sahim, Sahim, whatever that motherfucker's last name is, mishandles the ball. And then all of a sudden, Jalen Brown! Jalen Brown! My motherfucker! Ties the game up! A corner three-pointer! Hell to the fuck yeah, man. Hell to the fuck yeah. And I'm happy that um, Rick Kalisi, whatever he is, and I know he just said this right now. He blames, he blames this game on himself. And you know why? Because he didn't have his players following. Because if your players were fouling, you'd be having the home court. You gave the Boston Celtics an answered prayer tonight. Uh, that play right there changed the landscape of this game and why they went to overtime. It was all hands on deck.
What a classic, dude. What a classic. But, Jalen Brown, and this is somebody that I criticized last year. What he did was clutch. It won't be his last clutch three-pointer that he'll ever make. No, he's got plenty of uh, clutch shots in the tank. And then when we got into overtime, Jason Tatum was a beast. Oh my lord, man. Jason Tatum hitting big time shots. 36 points. Jason Tatum played 46 minutes. And everybody was saying it. And I was even saying it. He needed to step up. And he freaking stepped up. And when the game needed Jalen. To come up with that huge steal. I psych him. He did it. It was the Jays man. The Jays coming in in the clutch. Was this a perfect game for the Boston Celtics? Hell fucking no. They they didn't do well. Well, they started well in the first quarter. Then you give Indiana the momentum. Then in the third quarter, same fucking shit. But here's the thing that they did. They rose to the occasion. And while it is a relief. A miracle that they pulled this shit out. But let me just say it like this. The biggest takeaway from this game. If they play like this. Like what they did in game one. They're going to lose the series. Their defense was shit tonight. They got to figure something out with the bench. Sam Hauser, Pritchard, Cornet. Them guys were freaking trash tonight. The defense is still freaking dog shit. It smells like dog shit. This was a lucky win. You can't be doing this shit in the playoffs. Oh, no, 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 no. You gave Indiana Pacers, you gave the Boston Celtics this game tonight. You gave them this game tonight. But Boston, your preparation for Thursday night, you got to be a whole lot better. Because the Indiana Pacers can hang. And their shooting is for real. This isn't the Miami Heat. This isn't the Miami Heat when the Miami Heat broke a franchise record in game two. This Indiana Pacers team is serious. You cannot fuck up on defense. You can't play stupid games. You played stupid games and you're lucky you didn't win a stupid prize. You learned your lesson. And now. You're prepping. For a tennis match. The Boston Celtics won the first set. They got to win. Three more. If they want to get to the NBA Finals. This isn't a sprint. This is going to be a marathon. And I also got to give credit to Drew Holiday. 28.7 rebounds, 8 assists. And that's another thing too. If Drew Holiday was not doing what he was doing tonight in this game, 
They don't win this game. Drew Holiday was a freaking monster on offense, and he was a monster on defense. But all I gotta say is, man, I'm a little pissed. But you know what? At least we won. But like I said, you cannot play like fucking dog shit. You cannot play like fucking dog shit. Because shit right now has gotten tough. This is not the Miami Heat, and this is certainly not the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's all I got to say, people. Let me all know what y'all think in the comment section down below. It's your Yankee Hardcore Pipe Bomb Messiah. I'm out. Peace. Have a good night.